So uh, I'm going to be the, the broker. Okay, so ring, ring. Hey, how are you? Hey, Mike, how are you? My name is Lucy Martinez. How's everything going? Everything's well. How are you doing? How was your weekend? It was good. Thank you so much for asking. Um, the purpose of my call, obviously, is uh, I got notified by one of my colleagues that you're interested uh, in potentially uh, selling your car wash. So I wanted to get to know you a little bit better. Sure. Um, you know, we have a car wash. It, I've owned it. You know, it's been in the family for 50 years. Um, we're doing about one and a half million in gross. Um you know, it's pretty, it's pretty uh, plateaued over the last 10 years. We've been doing about 1.5. It's a full service car wash. We have about 15 employees. Um, we, uh, you know, we have, we don't have a monthly membership program. So that's really the new buyer can really step up and, and get that reoccurring revenue. We own the dirt. We own the property. We pay ourselves a lower rent than what, what the property is worth. Uh, we just got appraisal on the property. The property is worth about six million, and we're looking to sell the whole package. Okay, and uh, just out of curiosity, what's that number that that you have in mind? You know, I was talking to some people in the industry. You know, I'm trying to figure that out. You know, the property is worth about six million, and the business. You know, we're doing one five. What do you think? You know, a one five business is worth full service. Uh, well, what are what is your bottom line? I haven't really calculated that, you know, I, you know, I, I haven't really calculated that, you know, okay. what do you, what do you think? What is the standard bottom line for a full service? Um, based on uh, my knowledge, uh, I, I, I believe the profit margins are around 25 to 32%. Uh, would you say that you're around those profit margins? Yeah. So basically, so I'm going to cut, so I'm going to jump into the conversation for me. So basically I, you know, when I'm talking to a seller, I'm always the expert. I always, and, and I'm just saying this just to help you, you know, you, you do it your own way. You do a great job, Lucy, but this is my advice. So I would say like, I know it, like you're the expert you're, I'm calling you as a fit, you know, you have to think that they need you more than you need them. So What's the bot? So why don't we reverse roles? Why don't you be the, the seller and ask me the same questions and I'll be the broker and I'll tell you how I rebuttal it. Maybe this will help, help you. Okay. So what, what, what was the, the so the I do about 1.5 million, you know, what's, what do you think the bottom line is? And I would, and this is how I would answer it. I would say, you know, a full service car wash located in the Southeast um, profit margins are, you know, a healthy car wash should be around 30%. Um, what's your payroll? You jump right into the biggest expense right there. You ask them, what's your payroll? So what's your payroll? Um, I, I wouldn't know, Mike. Just say uh, uh, about a half a million. Half a million is 33% of 1.5. So that's a good, that's a very healthy payroll. Then I would ask the owner, what's your involvement in the business? Are you there every day? Are you running the ship? Or do you have a manager that's there? Yeah, I have a manager that's in place. Okay, what does he get paid? About a hundred grand a year? And he's gonna say, no, 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 it's way too much. Uh, yeah. 70. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'm just being conservative, Mr. Seller. Um, all right, 70, 70 grand a year. So you're you're all in at about 570. You're pretty much passive. I can buy this business absentee. I'm thinking in my head, I can buy this business absentee. And uh, have a 570 payroll number, which is about 37%, something like that, 37, 40%. So then I would ask them other questions like, you know, what are your utility bills? What's your electric? What's your gas? What are your real estate taxes? What do you pay yourself in rent? What's the market rent? Like before you get on a call with anyone, you should know everything about this property. You should know what the market rent would be if they own the property what they're paying themselves, what that gap is, because you can't double dip into property versus business. So all these questions, you know, we can continue to train every week. I could have more trainings about this, but all this stuff is just going to help you tie up these listings better and price them better. 